through the cabin. Come on. We are talking about the movie Exists, a 2014 found footage movie uh, that is directed by Eduardo Sanchez. And if that name sounds familiar to you, it should. He was essentially one of the granddaddies of the found footage genre, one of the guys behind the, uh, the Blair Witch movie, the original one. So this one actually deals with the legend of Bigfoot or Sasquatch. And it focuses on five friends as they decide to go to this kind of cabin in the woods, as you do, you, know, you, know, you always know how that's going to turn out, for a bit of a getaway. And um, whilst they're there, they are seemingly menaced by uh, some sort of creature after they misclip something in the night with their car. They hit something with their car, I'm not quite sure what it is, they assume it's some kind of deer or something, but no, it may well have been uh, a, a legendary Bigfoot. And, from that point, they are menaced and attacked by these creature or creatures. So what happens, obviously, you'll have to watch the movie to find out. So let's talk exists. I've got to say, this movie um, was actually recommended to me in a, as a pretty decent found footage film. And it is a, actually quite a well-made film. And it's not one of these films that shies away too much from kind of showing you the creatures. You do see quite a lot uh, of the kind of the creatures. That was quite good. I don't know there's, like, there's a few of these Bigfoot films that are... Uh, found footage and some of them uh, like Willow's Creek and uh, the Lost Coast type you don't really see the creature but this one you do and then I've got to say the makeup of the creature it looks pretty damn impressive uh, so that was all quite good and the, and the attacks are kind of suitably brutal and the, the creature is treated with some intelligence which I kind of liked uh, for example some of the sort of things he's done to kind of prove a point to these humans is actually kind of quite good I felt I thought the acting was all very well done here between the kind of the uh, the cast. Um, that was all very good. And I feel it's an exciting ride. The action happens quite quickly, so we're not kind of hanging around for too long before we kind of get these ever increasing ferocity of attacks, basically. So it does keep you, uh, you know, just keep you glued to the screen, and the stakes get higher and higher as the movie goes on. But what doesn't work? Uh, first of all, we have my small little nitpick that always bugs me about these films, and then we'll kind of go on to the big one. The small one is, uh, why oh why, whenever you see these films, is there always an odd number of people? It's always like, you know, two girls and three guys. Who the hell is ever going to go on all of these things and be the odd guy? No one ever was, is, is going to do that in real life. I think it's ridiculous sort of thing that happens in these movies, and it just like, it really bugs the shit out of me, because... If you are the fifth wheel, you are not going to want. You're not going to go on one holiday with two other couples, and it's, it's, it's so often it really bugs the shit out of me. But that is a relatively minor thing, obviously, um, and obviously it doesn't really have much to do with the uh, the story. Just a little trope that bug, bugs me. But what does have to do with the story, and I feel is this movie's biggest letdown, is the the kind of the uh, the excuse for the filming in this movie. So. Now, Blair Witch, they were making a documentary, so you can kind of understand why they were filming everything, and the whole point of them being there was to film stuff. Here, uh, we have our kind of our, our central cameraman, so to speak, and everyone's got these little GoPros on, so we get, you know, POV shots from everyone, but this one guy's got this main camera, and he like, literally never lets it go, and it's ridiculous, uh, you know, what he's actually filming. We find him filming when he's asleep, with there's, there's, a, there's a scene where, for example, he's pulling someone out of a pit, and rather than using both hands to pull and get leverage, no, he's holding the camera in one hand. And when we have mortal peril happens, yet yeah, he just films it and kind of rather than kind of doing anything else. So I think the actual um, it really does go beyond uh, a joke when it comes to the reasons for uh, you know, this person having to kind of film. And obviously, if we didn't, there wouldn't be a movie. But then don't have it as a found footage film. Uh, I, I feel it's a little, it goes so ridiculous with it, this film. I've, I, in fact, I would say it's one of the worst in the, in the fan footage genre for having kind of these manufactured reasons for why you would sort of keep, keep filming. And on that subject, the batteries of this camera seem to be never ending. Uh, trust me, having a video camera do this, I know how long a video camera battery lasts. And even if you had spares, I mean, you're 
running for your life in, in most of these kind of uh, situations and you probably don't have spares and stuff with you so you know that really kind of bugs me as well so it's a little it gets a little silly um, but the actual story if you can kind of get out of that is still quite a fun story it's a well-made film other than that and I feel they kind of do get a uh, um, you know a genuine sense of these characters and their kind of their relationship and the death scenes I feel are pretty decent and, and the special effects are good so overall I'd probably recommend it if you're a Bigfoot fan um, if you're a fan footage fan and that problem annoys you then this is going to really annoy you but other than that I would say it's worth a watch so I'll give this movie a solid 6 out of 10 have you seen it what did you think of it leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time bye for now mm -hmm.